Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Alex. Today is Friday. It's my day off. As you do know, it is getting very close to spring break. And you do know what today is. It is Valentine's Day, February the 14th. I think either today or next week is, will be the actual official start of spring break. Now, I am going to make some YouTube videos, but you're going to have to be patient because... I see my schedule for next week, and it's a very hectic schedule. They got me booked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. Now, normally I get Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, not Tuesdays and Thursdays, but Tuesdays and Wednesday off. You know, for the last three weeks I've had Tuesdays and Wednesdays off, but they were trying to get me this past Wednesday to come to work, and I was like, Wednesday's my day off. I love my days off from work. And apparently they didn't really, they didn't really like that. So uh, they they made it where now I gotta come four days in a row next week. But they're all in the afternoon, so you'll get some YouTube videos, maybe two out of the four. But I do know for a fact Friday and Saturday of that next week I have off. Friday I know for one hundred percent sure I'm off that Friday. Saturday they put something on Saturday which I don't know what that means. I'm a sh uh, I'm assuming that that must mean that's another day off, but they put something on there. I'll have to ask to double check because sometimes they say if you don't double check, if you don't ask a manager or a supervisor and you just naturally assume that that's a day off, you can get in trouble because two or three people did that last week and got in trouble for it. Now today, I'm not talking about my job. Today I'm going to talk about Valentine's Day because I know a lot of men are probably crying their butt off, crying their ass off, that today's February 14th, Valentine's Day, and a lot of men are probably angry and pissed off that they're going to be going to high school, college, and at working at the gym, and seeing people get, you know, they got a girlfriend, or they got a wife, or an ex fiance and they may not know how to handle the pressure of that. So this video is for men and for women. Yes, this video is for men and women. Doesn't matter if you're young or old, black or white. Doesn't matter if you're a black man, a white man, a Mexican man, an Asian man. Does not matter if you're a black woman, a white woman, a Mexican woman, an Asian woman. This video is for both men and women. I'm giving men advice. I'm giving women advice. So I'm not biased or sexist. Because some people are going to say I'm an asshole because I always favor one category over the other. In this video, I'm non-biased. I'm giving men advice. I'm giving women advice. Doesn't matter if you're in high school, college, at work, at the gym, on the road, independent, retire. I'm giving out advice because it's Valentine's Day. The name of the title of this video is called Sex Game Valentine's Day. It's okay if you don't have one. Now, I know a lot of men are probably spitting out their Coca-Cola, their Pepsi, their Mountain Dew, their Sprite, their 7-Up, apple juice, orange juice, their coffee, their tea, and then probably going, what the hell did Alexander just say? I said the name of the title of this YouTube video is called Sex Game Valentine's Day. It's okay if you don't have one. The reason why I'm making the video is because I know there are going to be some men who are going to make some YouTube videos within the next two to three hours. There are probably some already made already. And I know there are some men probably saying, man, life sucks when you don't have a Valentine's. And I'm 34 years old. It may not look like it. It may not seem like it. But I am 34 years old. And I do have 14 years of experience. And I can tell you the difference between having a Valentine's, not having a Valentine's. What's the difference of having a Valentine's in high school and college and not having one when you're in high school and college. And I know someone's going to say, what about if you're in your 20s or 30s and you don't have a Valentine's period? I have experienced that too. Now, let's start with high school and college. If you have a Valentine's or if you never had a Valentine's in high school and college. Sorry, that's a minivan passing through. So I apologize if you heard the sound of the car or minivan in the background. It's this car mechanic who likes to drive back and forth to three different locations. And sometimes you can hear the sound of the engine. I'll repeat it again because the sound interrupted the video. Um, what if 
you either have a Valentine's in high school and college, or what if you don't have a Valentine's in high school and college? A lot of times, you have to treat it like an experience. When you first play basketball or football, are you perfect? No. We all make mistakes, right? In the next YouTube video, I'm going to make another YouTube video called Sex Game, We All Make Mistakes. That video won't be addressing any man. It'll be addressing a certain individual who feels like I do not acknowledge my mistakes, that I do not like to admit when I'm wrong. So that video is like a personal video to apologize to that individual. It's not a male, it's a female. You know, they think I'm an asshole. They think I'm a jerk. They think I don't understand their feelings when I actually do. They, they think I don't know how to acknowledge that. So that video is to acknowledge the fact that I've done something wrong to that individual and that individual wants their respect and their credit because they feel like that they've done a lot of good things for me, but I won't admit that, they, that they're the reason why I'm popular. They, they, they want me to admit that the reason why this YouTube channel and all the channels I had before only took off because they gave me the power of being sociable. Now, my first original YouTube channels, the ones that got destroyed and sabotaged by some jackass from another country that cyber attacked me, those were before I met the person. But these new YouTube channels, oh yeah, they're responsible for these channels um, taking off and going where they're going. You know how they say you go to a place that you've never gone before? You know, Star Trek, where they say, space, the final frontier, go beyond. Yeah, that person is responsible for that, but that video will be after this one. Or should I say this one's first and then that one, but let's get to the case. If you're in high school or you're in college and you either have a Valentine's, it's the greatest thing in the whole world. Nothing matters. Basketball, football, baseball, video games, comic books. Nothing matters because if you have a Valentine's Day in high school and college, it's the greatest thing in the world. It's on the same level as the NBA Finals, the Super Bowl, the World Series, the Soccer World Cup, the Stanley World Cup. If you're a professional wrestling fan, it's WrestleMania. If you have a Valentine's Day in high school and in college. If you don't have a Valentine's Day in high school and college, it is the worst thing in the world. It's like... It's like time stops. It's like nothing matters. People tell you you got a job, you got money, you got a house, you got a car. It's like, but I don't have a Valentine's Day. See, in high school, you take it very personal. Because you see everybody's hugging, everyone's kissing, everybody's making out with each other. And you look around and no one's hugging you. No one's kissing you. No one is saying, happy Valentine's Day to you. I'm talking about if you're in high school. And this is if you're a man or a woman. Men be like, all right, I'm going to go home and I'm going to close the door in my room and play video games for five hours because I don't have a Valentine's Day. That's what you do when you're in high school. I'm going to play all the video games um, and don't want to come out because I ain't got no Valentine's Day. And your mom be looking at you like, it's just Valentine's Day. It ain't the end of the world. Like, your mom knows you ain't got no Valentine's Day, but... Your mom got to explain to you it, it happens to everybody in high school and college. It's like when you lose a championship game in basketball, it happens to all of us. Now, if it's a girl and she has no Valentine's Day in high school and college, it's usually the father or the grandfather that talks to the girl and say, look, it happens to all of us. You know, you'll hear the father saying, when I first met your mom... We all we did was just watch movies for Valentine's Day. We didn't have no money to go out to the nightclubs or the bars or to go out to lunch and dinner. I'm talking about if you're a woman, it's your dad or granddad that explains to you what happens if you don't have a Valentine's Day in high school or in college for four years. If you're a man, it's usually your mother explaining to you what happens if you don't have a Valentine's Day in high school or in college. Your mom will look at you and say, it's not the end of the world. It's a part of a life experience. You know, it's like what Shaquille O'Neal said. The legendary great Shaquille O'Neal, four-time NBA champion, two-time USA gold medal, 
been inducted into the NBA Basketball Hall of Fame, College Basketball Hall of Fame, the legendary Laker Shaquille O'Neal had two of his jerseys retired in Los Angeles, had his other jersey retired in Miami. That Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal said a famous quote. And that famous quote is, sometimes in life you have to lose to order to learn how to win. And sometimes you might have to not have a Valentine's Day to understand on how to get a Valentine's Day. And women understand what I'm talking about. Men are like, what the hell are you talking about, Alexander? I'm, I'm trying to explain high school and college first before I get to what if you're in your 20s or 30s. So I got to explain the, the, the basics of it before I can get to the highly advanced of it. Now let's get to the highly advanced. If you're in the workforce, a lot of men meet women at work. And sometimes it could happen maybe a month before Valentine's. It can happen during the month of Valentine's taking place. A lot of men just, when they meet a woman for the first time, they're happy. They're excited. They're in stitches. Hold on. Every time I do a YouTube video, somebody decides they want to uh, call and mess up the quality of the video. So like I was saying, sorry for the video interruption, but people, they, they, they don't seem to understand when I'm filming. I don't want no phone calls because it, 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 it messes up the quality of the video. It disturbs the message. And then you guys can't get the message 100% because somebody want to call. I don't like when people call. Sometimes you get bill collectors who just want to, they want you to pay your bill. And then you get people who just want to offer you stuff. And be irritating and annoying and it's an inconvenience because it should be one of those days where you don't call. Like, I don't want anything offered to me because all that is is asking for what? More money. But that ain't the point. The point of this video is that you're going to have those days. Women meet men at work too. Now, I know someone's going to be a smart ass and say, but there's sexual harassment. There's me too. Yes, that does take place in the workplace. I'm not one of those jackasses who just make a video and don't acknowledge their sexual harassment at the workplace. I've made YouTube videos in the past talking about sexual harassment. I made a whole series of it on my old YouTube channel. I made like four videos on my old channel. And then it got broken up into five videos. Because a friend of mine got accused of sexual harassment not once but twice. And no, I will not tell you his first and last name because it's rude and disrespectful. And he does watch my YouTube videos on a consistent daily basis. And if he run across this video, he actually is going to actually call my phone number and say, why are you talking about my experiences of being accused without my permission? Because he will actually do that. But the point that I'm trying to explain to you is, yes, sexual harassment does take place at the workplace. But what I think you need to understand is... It can also take place in high school, it can take place in college, it can take place at the gym. It ain't just the workplace, sexual harassment can take place anywhere. And there's not just one form of sexual harassment, there's like seven different forms of it. There's touching inappropriate, there's even looking at a girl's ass or breasts without her permission, without her consent. Now that's considered sexual harassment. The reason why I'm bringing that into the video is because I don't want no one going into the comment section and saying, you didn't talk about the bad stuff. I'm talking about the bad stuff so I can get the bad stuff out of the way and get back to the good stuff. I'm not like those other jackasses who make those videos and don't mention the bad stuff. You mention the bad stuff so you can get to everyone's favorite thing, the good stuff. That's why I'm addressing it. So you can't say, you didn't talk about it. And if you want me to make a fully fledged series out of it, then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do what they call a request. That means you do a request video. I'll either make the video or I don't make the video, but you have to give me five reasons on why you want that video made. I don't think anyone's gonna do that, but there are some people who do love to pop out of nowhere and look at my channel and then don't realize I've already made a series of that subject. This is um, videos. For guys and women who may not have a Valentine's Day. Now, men, they have a statistics. If you're from the age of 18 to 35, they say that when guys don't get a, a, a Valentine's in high school and college, like if you go four years in high school or four years in college not getting a Valentine's, you'll play video games all day because you don't have a Valentine's Day and you won't come out the house. 
And that's a sign of being antisocial according to the statistics. If you're a woman that's from the age of 18 to 35, you're most likely to go out to the nightclubs, the bars, or the bookstore and just read a lot of books because you don't have a Valentine's. Um, so I'm trying to give you as much information as you can. Now, if you're in your 20s or 30s and you don't have a Valentine's Day, it, it, it usually depends on how you handle it. I think as men get older, they have a better understanding that it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it does suck that you don't have no one to talk to seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, but you are alive. You got a house, you got an apartment, you got a car, you got a job, you got money. That opportunity where you speak to women, it actually does come. Like, I'm going to tell you the most funniest and most strangest things that my mom ever told me when I didn't have no Valentine's in high school and college and sometimes in my early 20s. My mom told me, sometimes you don't even get a Valentine's on Valentine's. Sometimes it could be a month later, two months later. It could be five months after Valentine's Day that from out of nowhere, out of the clear blue, you get some girl that just pops up and just go say hi. And you get confused because you probably thought, I thought when you meet a girl on Valentine's Day, it's supposed to be on Valentine's Day. My mom laughed at me and said, it's supposed to be on Valentine's Day, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be like that. Trust me, I've been in cases where in the summertime, that's where I get my Valentine's Day. And I'd be like, every single summer, I get a girl that checks me out in the summertime. It's never on Valentine's Day. Like yesterday, 24 hours ago, that was the first time in history I've ever had five girls notice me one day before Valentine's Day. That's never happened before to me in history. And it happened yesterday, 24 hours before Valentine's Day. So I'm trying to explain to you men, don't take it personal if you don't have a Valentine's Day. Because the guys that you see taking girls out to lunch and dinner... The guys that you see laughing at you and making fun. See, when I was in high school and college, a lot of men would laugh and make fun of other guys that did not have a Valentine's Day in high school, college, or at work. They thought it was funny. And then when these guys got in their late 20s, early 30s, they would apologize five or ten years later and say, My bad, dog. I'm sorry for laughing and making fun of you about not having no Valentine's Day. Like, it's alright, man, you be alright, you be okay. Some of them actually mean what they say in the apology, and some of them are sometimes full of shit. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. And then the women. You got some women who get laughed and made fun of. See, everyone remembers men not having Valentine's Day. There are some women that don't have Valentine's Day either. There are some women that will actually be angry on Facebook because they see every other girl that they went to high school, college, and at work, don't have a Valentine's Day. And the females would be like, why are you laughing at me? Why are you making fun of me? Because sometimes it's not funny when you don't have a Valentine's Day. Now, if you're in your 20s or 30s, for a woman, there are some women that do take it personal. And I'm going to tell you why some women take um, not having a Valentine's Day in their 20s, but take it even more personal when they get in their 30s. Because it's a sign that they may not be able to get the guy that they're looking for. Now, there is this term that men don't understand. Women understand it, but men don't. Because, you know, as a man, when, when, we, when we hear a word, we, we try to dissect the whole word. And like I said in my other video, we like to overanalyze everything. And we miss the whole point of the, what the word means. It's called love yourself. A lot of men be like, what the hell is love yourself? Sometimes you have to learn how to be by yourself before anyone can be with you. I always use the term, learn how to have fun by yourself. And if you have a lot of fun by yourself, other people are going to see you're enjoying having fun by yourself. It lets them know you're a fun person to have fun with. Then you got people having fun with you. I always like to go with that concept, but the real concept is you got to learn how to love yourself first before anyone else can love you. Or you can say you got to learn how to like yourself before someone else can like you. That might take two years, that might take three years, that might take five years. I'm just trying to explain to you how this thing works. 
Now, the reason why I'm explaining the the uh, high school and college thing is because they have it in statistics. You can do your own research. Sometimes the research is the same. Sometimes it changes. Now, let's talk about men in their 20s and 30s if you don't have a Valentine's. A lot of times, if you're in your 20s, you're just going to be watching a lot of movies, a lot of television, and playing video games. And it doesn't bother you that much in your 20s because you're in your 20s. If you're a man and you get into your 30s, it bothers you a lot. Because you start to wonder, do any woman find me physically sexually attractive? Do women like me? Do women don't like me? You start to do a thing called overanalyze. Overanalyze means you try to look at every single problem and you try to dissect it like you're a scientist because you're not understanding that there might be a logical reason for why you don't have a Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day. And then you might try to say, well, it's because of this, it's because of that. And then it could just be one simple thing and you overlook that one simple thing. Don't think that men are the only ones who overanalyze. There are some women that overanalyze. There are some women that be like, well, it's because I'm fat. It ain't always because you're fat. It ain't always because you're too short or you're too tall. It could just be a situation where it's just Valentine's Day and sometimes someone always gets left out. It's like when you was in school and you were in P.E. They, all the good kids got to play basketball on one team. Remember that when you was in high school and college? I know you men know what I'm talking about. You've had that one moment where all the good kids was on one basketball team and all the suck kids was on the second team. And the winners got to play the losers. And the kids that, was, that, that were the most popular got to be with other popular kids. And all the kids that were non-popular hung out with non-popular kids. Well, Valentine's Day in some form or fashion is kind of like that. It's kind of like it, but then it's not. I'm just trying to explain for, for men what it feels like in their 20s and 30s. Now, for women in their 30s, a lot of women sometimes, they just go on Facebook and have conversations with other people of their age group. So, what I'm trying to say in this video, it's okay if you don't have a Valentine's Day. Because... When you try to wonder why you're left out, just remember this. Learn how to have fun. It's just for one day. And there's always next year. You know how somebody lose in the NBA Finals? You always hear them say, well, the NBA Finals is once, is once a year. Well, there's always going back to the NBA Finals next year. Somebody lose a Super Bowl. You ever seen when somebody lose a championship? And they cry because they lost the championship. That's how I would describe um, not having a Valentine's um, as a man in your 20s and 30s. It's like not getting the NBA final championship. It's, it's, it's losing a championship in the NBA finals. It's like losing a Super Bowl in the Super Bowl. It's like you went to the World Series and you got your ass whooped in the World Series. Or if you like soccer, you lost in the Soccer Cup Championship. Or if you like hockey, you got your ass whooped in the Stanley World Cup Championship. If it's WrestleMania, you got your ass whooped in the main event and you did not win the championship belt. That's how I would describe not having a Valentine's Day if you're a man that's in your 20s and 30s. If you're a woman, you probably would describe not having a Valentine's Day like... The school dance. Like, if a girl does not get no one to dance with her at the school dance in high school, that's like a blow. If the girl goes to prom and nobody danced with her at prom, she'll remember it 10, 15, 20 years later. She'll still remember, nobody danced with me at the school prom. It could be homecoming dance. And the girl will be like, nobody danced with me at the homecoming dance. And if you think that's bad, I know some women from back in the day that did, that almost won homecoming queen. You got girls that, that try to win homecoming queen, and if they lose, that experience, from what I've been told by women, when you don't win homecoming, it's like Miss USA. You know how all the women from different countries are supermodels, right? When the women don't win Miss USA, it's like the end of the world. Well, if a girl don't win homecoming queen in high school, it could be 10, 15, 20 years later. And she ain't forgot that she lost 
to another girl and being homecoming queen. There's homecoming queen and then there's homecoming king. And when the woman don't win homecoming queen, she will forever remember that she went down in history of losing that title. Because when you're in high school and college and you're most popular and you lose to another popular person and you don't win that title, you don't win that honor, it's just like Miss USA. Miss USA has to defend her title. And when you lose to someone else, it's just like that for women. So this video is just trying to get you to think, yes, it happens to all of us. It might happen to you five times. It might happen to you ten times. But I'm just trying to, you know, help you get through the process. Because I know someone's probably mad that they don't have a Valentine's. It's happened to me every single year. Some people might say, well, I don't know what to say about that. But I'm trying to show you I got the experience. And I'm telling you what I normally do when I handle it. I go to the gym. I go to the movies. I go to the park. I do YouTube videos. Sometimes I don't do anything. And I get the attention from women. Sometimes I'm not even aware that I'm getting attention from women. And when they give me the attention, I could just be just going to a movie. They go see a movie and they go hi. And then they smile. So sometimes it's better not to try to go after the attention. Let the attention come to you 100% natural. Don't force it.